back to Addie P's Real Estate Tea. For today, I just want to chop it up with you all for our monthly powwow about the market report. That would be April of 2023's market report. Now, before I get into this video, as you all so graciously do every time, if you like what you hear in this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And as I always mention, um, you know, please feel free to comment uh, in the video. Hey, I love it. I like it. I'd like to hear more about uh, another real estate related topic and I'm here for it. <laughs> All right. um, also, um, if you like what you hear in the video, please consider subscribing. Also hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos on the channel. And you already know, if you follow your girl on Instagram, don't forget to drop me a heart and show me some love. <laughs> All right. Now, we have been experiencing um, here in the Lehigh Valley in particular, a pretty good market in the sense of um, on the seller side, I'll say. Uh, let me clarify that before I go any further because I, I don't want y'all coming for me, especially all of you here in the Lehigh Valley. Um, we have been experiencing um, a, a weird kind of mix here. We definitely still have a very competitive market, but that is uh, really being driven a lot more uh, based off of the uh, lack of inventory. Uh, inventory has been down, um, and I, I for one, myself thought that with spring being a more historically robust type of market opposed to our winter months and so forth, that we would be uh, experiencing more listings and, and, and so forth. But that has not been the case. Um, the listings have been uh, trickling in. Um, so any sellers out there, if you are questioning anything, uh, if your house is priced accordingly uh, and um, uh, you know, according to a uh, current market rate, um, you know, and all the other reasonable things that go into selling your home, then definitely you want to consider it because we are in need of some inventory here in the Lehigh Valley um, and also nationwide too, which we'll get into that shortly here. But a big driving force beyond the shortage of inventory that is causing this market uh, shakeup here a bit is the fact that mortgage rates have really kind of been up and down. So a lot of buyers are starting to kind of pull back a little bit and say, oh, maybe right now is not the time. Uh, my suggestion, I was talking to a good mortgage officer friend of mine, um, is that, listen, you buy right now, um, which by the way, just to kind of preface what I'm about to say, mortgage rates are really not high. If you um, really do your homework and dig uh, in regard to mortgage rates, this is not the highest mortgage rates have been. It's just that everyone has gotten used to that dirt cheap money, which as we could see, did not help us a whole lot um, in that sense. Yes, some of us who have uh, embarked upon the two and a half, three percent mortgages over you know the past uh, you know uh, so many years have benefited so let me not uh, say that but what I'm trying to say is that okay you're out here you're buying a house at, at this current market um, say you are at seven percent interest rate hey if interest rates hike up a little bit further because the mortgage friend of mine uh, he and I we were discussing this he's been in the business now for over 30 years and he's seen double digit mortgage interest rates so um, what if we end up going to that level then you can thank your lucky stars thank the Lord um, that you have gotten in at this interest rate if interest rates end up dropping then hey you can always refinance if you're in that position to do so um, so really at this point you're not losing out on anything um, in fact um, just from a trained real estate eye don't shoot me you're actually putting yourself uh, you're kind of gambling a little bit if you don't buy now um, because again Either way, that pendulum swings, you're either going to be paying more if you wait 
potentially, or and, and may even throw you out of the buying game, period, which has happened to quite a few buyers um, where they've been actually thrown out of the buying arena, period, because they've been priced out of the market between pricing and interest rates. So they may not qualify anymore. Um, but to my point is that um, don't wait. If you are considering buying and you are in the position to do so, then you should be out there. Um, I know that there's not a lot to choose from. Uh, however, please keep an eye out, keep looking and so forth, but don't give up because again, waiting can potentially be of detriment to you. Okay. Um, on the sell side of things, this can be a great opportunity for you to obviously you know, uh, embark upon some of that extra uh, revenue that your house has gotten, all of that nice juicy equity that you've been able to build up. All right. So um, just wanted to kind of put that out there again, you know, um, where some folks, it may be problematic. Other folks, this may be uh, right for the picking as far as buying or selling. So just a few quick stats here. So we have um, and here in the Lehigh Valley in particular that I'm about to mention, a 33.6 drop in closed sales. Again, tightening of inventory, some buyers getting a little uh, shaken by these up and down interest rates. We have a 27.5% drop in inventory. We have a gain in, uh, in median sales price by 12.5% to 315,000 here in the Lehigh Valley, which is great. Double digit growth is always music to our ears, right? All right, uh, month supply of inventory is down by 20% to 0 0.8 months. Um, and again, uh, I, like I referenced in my last video, if you all uh, were able to uh, listen to that, is that in a healthy, balanced market, a, a healthy, a healthy, a healthy, harmonious, balanced market, you always need at least three to four months worth of inventory um, in order to, uh, so buyers have choice and so forth. So everybody's kind of win-win, where now we are still in a seller's market. So please keep that in mind. All right. Um, days on the market up by 71.4% in comparison to last year. So days on market right now is at 24. It's under 30 days. That's still great. Okay. Um, 30 and over. It's kind of like, uh, okay. But right now we are under 30 days. So that's still, that's great. All right. Um, at U.S. existing homes. Now these are NAR statistics or National Association of Realtor Statistics. Statistics um, that there has been a decline, a month over month decline of 2.4%. And that actually reversed the gains that were experienced in February. Those gains were 14.5%. So kind of did a little swap here. And like I said, every market is different. You know, some markets, uh, you know, are really starting to feel the sting of the low inventory, high prices, lack of buyer, uh, you know, purchases and so forth. Um, other markets like here in the Lehigh Valley, yes, we are feeling a little pinch as far as the heightening in uh, in uh, the, the lack of, I should say, excuse me, lack of buying power, heightening of prices um, and the wobbliness of interest rates, but it's not to the detriment uh, to the fact that we are just crashing and burning here. All right. Um, now, again, just to kind of put that plug in there, nationally, NAR is saying that, you know, the mortgage rate fluctuation, the horrible lack of inventory is really just causing uh, some market disruption here, um, which I definitely don't doubt. Um, and I think that this is definitely going to prove to be an interesting summer, to say the very least. Um, I don't know if some lessening of interest rates will help get those buyers back out there, get them some more confidence, uh, or or if, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if inventory will pick up at this point. I know some sellers uh, that got in at really good interest rates are saying, hey, where are we going to go with uh 
uh, with ourselves with this uh, with these higher interest rates. Yeah, we have uh, gain from selling our house. Where are we going to go? Uh, we're going to end up spending all this money, you know, to uh, to find uh, adequate housing now. So it's kind of a, a seesaw here at this point. It's definitely individualized uh, purchasing now. Everybody kind of has their own reason uh, and so forth for uh, branching out. Um, you know, there's no cheap money anymore, at least at the, for the foreseeable future, uh, to be the motivating factor for a buying frenzy. So, all right. Well, I hope to bring you all another video real soon, but I always like to tap in on a monthly basis to kind of keep everybody posted and so forth. And again, um, you know, I, I don't get a chance to make videos as much as I used to, but please follow me on Instagram where I tend to post on a more regular basis over there, um, whether it be real estate statistics, any kind of real estate news that I think would be beneficial to everyone everyone. All right. Well, enough of me. I will shut up and I will leave you all. Please have